click the link below or go straight to MrLocario.com to get the documentary Game Kings, The Definition of Game. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game was good. So listen, this video I'm about to show you guys, right? It's, it's, it's ridiculous, okay? It's a divorce court show. And in the show, this chick, she's leaving her, her, her man because he's a fucking insecure beta male who's trying to follow alpha tactics right to try to keep his woman because he's insecure right and shout out to solo tv 84 for sending me this clip man because i'm watching this shit i'm laughing my ass off and guys this is what happens when you take bad dating advice okay this is exactly what's going to happen so this this woman is basically leaving her man but what i'm going to do is i'm going to show uh the clips of this and then i'm gonna come back and you know give my commentary and then we're gonna get into this all right check this out honor i'm here because this trifling man has caused me so much pain he stressed me out he's always trying to control me he's always accusing me of looking at other men mm -hmm. i'm over i can't live my life it's, it's like every time i go somewhere i have to look on the look on the floor he's done so many things let me tell you what happened so one time we was at the grocery store we were walking down the aisle and i was grabbing cheeses and he accused me of looking at a swole, supposedly swole man on that aisle, and I didn't even see the man. I literally grabbed my stuff, put it in the cart, and went to the next aisle. Well, Mr. Sanders, what do you have to say? Give me some background on why you think you, you're here, and then you can respond to that. Okay, the reason I'm here is because she thinks I'm insecure, mm -hmm. but really, it's always some she does, and she always say I don't, I'm, she's not doing All right, first, let me stop, let me stop real quick first. Do you see how this motherfucker sound? Well, it's it's always something she does, and and I just uh, the nigga th this nigga I this nigga's IQ is is mustard. You understand what I'm saying? This this motherfucker sound like he don't know shit. Like he's just something wrong with his head. You understand? And and I want I want you guys to take notice to this because these are the type of guys who gravitate to this bad dating advice. You understand? Idiots like this motherfucker. But let's continue. I don't, I'm, she's not doing that, but I see you, see me, see you doing this. Mm. So it's like, why are you, why are you lying? You know what I'm so saying? So when she was at the grocery store getting her Cheez-Its, you're yes. saying that she was looking at somebody else who was swole? Right, right. You, he, was a little, he was a little bit buffer than me. A little bit buffer than me. Just mm -hmm. a little bit, you know? Okay, but if I'm with you, I'm with you. I wasn't looking at him. You think she has a wandering eye? Yes. I do. Now, Miss Love, you say that is not the case, but no, you're always not. being accused. Yes. So the cheeses was one incident. Tell me about another time you say he acted insecure. Okay, so me, him, my sister, and my niece, we all went out to eat at a restaurant that me and him frequent. We always go there. And we were, um, there's a guy who works there. I guess he's like a... He cleans up and he's a waiter. He came as, you know, is the food and everything okay? And we're like, yeah, we're good. And he keeps walking past. And then... Jamal accuses me and says, oh, he says, well, what do y'all have going on? Why does he keep looking at you? And I was like, what do you mean? What do we, we don't have nothing going on. I don't even know this person. He works here. And then he's like, um, well, excuse me, come here and tells the dude to come to the table mm. and says, what you got going on with my girl? Stop looking at her. And I'm like, what in the world? Like, this is so embarrassing. My sister is here. We're eating out. This is embarrassing. Mr. I don't Sanders, even want to go you, here anymore. Mr. Sanders, did you think she had something going on with the server at the restaurant? I'm going to put it like this. I ain't blind. You know, I can see everything. So, you know what I'm saying? He has the whole other restaurant to clean up, but instead, you right at the table with her. You know what I'm saying? Wiping the table as soon as I come out the bathroom. I mean, wiping you know, the table is his job. It is his job. But I feel like... You're saying you know, the timing of him wiping the table was suspect to you. It was suspect. And also, every time we come in the restaurant, I see him, you know, giving her the look. Like All right, so... This dude, he's so insecure that he's trying to start shit with a guy working at the fucking restaurant wiping the tables because he thinks the, 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 the dude is trying to get at his girl. You understand what I'm saying? This is, this is the problem with these dudes right here. When, you, when you're so insecure, this is the type of shit that you do. This is the type of shit that happens. You understand what I'm saying? But let's, let's, keep, it, let's keep it going. 
I'm over him. I'm very much over him. That's a lot what happened wrong. was, he took me to go get my hair done, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, okay, I got my hair done looking cute. You know, you want to look cute for your man, right? So I got my hair done, and then when I go back out to the car, he says, oh, you look ugly. I'm like, what? I look ugly? Like, I know I'm not ugly. So he said I look ugly, and I'm like, where is this coming from? Like, all of a sudden you start trying to put me down, and it doesn't make sense to me. Still in this relationship? Yeah, unfortunately, he's apologized, but I realized it's not worth it, and I kind of try to stay because I wanted my son to have, you know, a father figure around, and, but I realized we can co-parent. I don't have to be there. Not when he's calling his mama ugly. Right, exactly. I mean... Sir, let, me, let me see your... Oh, okay, you have a name to the list. Right. Alpha tactic list. Right. Number one, it says, don't bed for sex. Alpha males, we don't bed for sex, you know what I'm saying? I'm an I'm a alpha, I'm sorry, you know? Two, we don't tolerate disrespect. Like, it's been several occasions where, you know, she would blatantly start talking to me any kind of way. So you, you have on this list, talk down to her at all times. Yes. Which is ridiculous. Make sure I... they give you money. Don't give compliments. Yes. Don't give validation. Right. Don't be a beta, so... So this dude... He's calling his girl ugly because that's what the, the alpha tactics is telling him to do, right? Guys, you have to be a complete fucking idiot to listen to stupid shit like this. Matter of fact, let's look at this, 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 this alpha list that he has. Let's, let's break this down. All right, so let's look at this alpha tactic list real quick. So number one, don't beg for sex. All right, so this is the thing. If you have to even talk about not begging for sex, right? That means that you're in a situation already <laughs> where, you know, you are with a woman that isn't really that sexually attracted to you anyway. To the point where that needs to even be a tactic, right? Because if the chick was sexually attracted to you, she would be wanting to have sex with you anyway. She would be all over you, right? So you wouldn't even need to think to say that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like if it's like if you were at, at work and someone says, you know, don't beg for your paycheck, right? You know, your paycheck's coming every two weeks. So you don't even need to think to say don't beg for it because you know what's going to happen. You know what's coming. You see what I'm saying? But usually dudes who are beta males have to beg for sex because women don't want to have sex with them. They're not really that sexually attracted to them. They just sort of, uh, you know, use them for the, uh, you know, for their finances or whatever it is. Right. And then number two, don't tolerate disrespect. OK, we could get with that. Don't tolerate disrespect. Right. Um. But what does that mean, though? We got it. We got to dive into that. But, you know, be, that could do, be a whole nother video. I want I don't want to make this too long. Um, always be the bad boy. Oh, God. See. I call myself the bad boy of the dating game. Right. And see what a lot of people misconstrue is this. When they talk about be the bad boy, they think about being an asshole, being a jerk, being a dick. That's not what a bad boy is. A bad boy is the opposite of the nice guy archetype okay a bad boy is just the archetype it's the opposite of the nice guy archetype the nice guy is the guy who is you know pretending to be a certain way to you know win favor in in women's eyes right the bad boy is the guy who is being himself who's honest who's authentic you understand what i'm saying and has that take it or leave it attitude right so it's not about being a being a dick to the chick you understand what I'm saying? It's, just, it's more about being real with yourself, right? Now, fourth thing: make her beg for you. I, I, I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck that means. Uh, five: talk down to her at all times. You see this? This is the stupid shit I'm talking about. Talk down to her at all times. See, this is some insecure ass shit. You understand? Because again, he wants to talk down to the chick to make her feel bad, and see. That's really only going to work on chicks who are extremely insecure 
and who have extreme low self-esteem. You understand what I'm saying? And you don't want to be with them type of chicks anyway, because those type of chicks have issues. But see, only an insecure fuck boy is going to think talking down to the chick at all times is a good thing. You understand? This is this is what low IQ motherfuckers uh, think. You understand? Uh, number six, make sure they give you money. Oh, my Jesus. Moving on. Number seven, uh, don't give compliments. Again, insecure shit, because when you're looking at it in the in the same vein of talk down to her at all times, don't give in compliments. They're saying basically you don't want you, you. You're trying to keep her in that sort of mindset of, yeah, I'm going to keep you down. You understand? Like, I can't compliment you. You understand? Um, number eight, don't give validation. I already done plenty of videos talking about that but see the thing is a lot of times this whole validation thing of don't get validation and don't validate her again that's from an insecure place you understand what i'm saying like i said guys who are high value guys who are attractive guys who are on point right have to give women validation so that women can know that they're they're basically at that level to fuck with the guy you understand what i'm saying because if you're a, a guy who's on point, a guy who's attractive, if you don't validate women, right, they're going to think that you're unattainable and then therefore you're not going to get them Therefore, They're not going to cooperate and all that other good stuff. But I've talked about that um, a, a few times. And then number nine, don't be a beta no matter what, which is ironic. Because this is awesome beta ass shit. That's why you called her ugly after she got her hair done? Exactly. That was the reason. You thought this was actually going to work for you and your relationship. The reason why I did that I was... guess it does if you date someone who does not have any self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Or you're trying to undermine their self-esteem mm -hmm. as because you feel so insecure about yourself. See, Your Honor... You stand in front of me six foot tall, but you're really this big on the inside. Mm -hmm. If you think this is the way you're supposed to treat a woman. Right. See, that's not the exact way I, I thought. Oh, it, it, oh, this it was you, just... you came up with the list. I'm going by no, your no, list. No, no, it was what I researched. You came in, you know what? what? I you because... came into the right courtroom today. Because I was about to say, you might need to go and judge Mathis, but he wouldn't like you either. Um, I didn't even know he had this list. I didn't know he was following these strategies. Because I'm like, why is he being so rude? Where's all this coming from? And to me, honestly, you are a beta because what man, what real man will put their woman, who is the mother of their child, through all of this? Pain, now, suffering, Honor, stress. Your Honor, the reason why I did this was because I felt like every girl likes the bad boy. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking that's what she like, you know? So that's why I came up with this. What happened when you called her ugly when she got in the car? She started crying. Okay. Mm. Okay, so that's not what she likes. Because yes, what you're really doing with this alpha male nonsense is masking your own deep-seated insecurities and lack of self-worth because you want to try to make somebody else feel bad about themselves because that's how you feel about yourself. And you think by undermining her self-esteem is going to make you feel better. See, I want you guys to, to notice how the judge basically broke down the situation, right? She's telling them, listen... You're an insecure motherfucker. You understand? Which is why you got to do shit like tell your girl she's ugly, do all this other goofy shit. And he's thinking he's being a bad boy. That's not being no bad boy. You understand what I'm saying? That's being an insecure beta male nigga. You understand what I'm saying? And see, some of y'all be, be, be thinking that y'all are getting advice that pertains to, you know, being alpha but it's really some beta shit. You understand what I'm saying? It's some beta shit. Should have, uh, you know, did the right thing by her. Don't leave me. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's already over. It's already over. Um. <laughs> can we start over? I'm, I'm sorry, I can't. What you mean you can't? I have to love myself more and I can't. People believe in second chances, you should too. Why not? Baby, you already had 10 chances. These not gonna work. I'm sorry. You can always come see your son. I'm never closing that door, but it's with me, it's closed. And see, this fool at the end of the 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 you know the video, he's still trying to get back with his chick. And the chick ain't trying to have it. She's she's done. She's she's gone. 
You understand what I'm saying? She's gone. And it's yo, this this dude fucked up because this this chick, she 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 not bad looking. You understand what I'm saying? She she look good. You, you understand? She got a nice body, cute face. He fucked up. You understand? And she seemed like a, a cool, decent chick from you know what she's displaying on there. You know, you don't know everything, but you understand what I'm saying? He he fucked up. And see, you guys are gonna fuck up when you listen to this bullshit ass advice. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and the funny part was, this is the, the crazy shit. See, in the video, he, he was talking about how he, he did his research. Oh, I researched on, on... Nigga, you ain't do no fucking research. Because if you did research, right? That means you would have stumbled upon real shit. You understand what I'm saying? So a lot of motherfuckers be like, oh, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm learning this and this. No, 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 no. You're not doing research. Right. You just looked at the first thing that popped up into your YouTube feed and you think that's research. No, you have to. I always tell you guys, you have to vet the coach, vet the advice. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the T-shirts. Submissive women are sexy, binary as fuck. And I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.